Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Games Workshop Citadel Fine Detail Cutters. They're right here, they will cost you £20. But I did wonder whether there is a point of me doing an unboxing and review of clippers, but then this is a Warhammer 40,000 channel, predominantly, and it is a hobby tool. And if I've done reviews of models, motorcycles, cars, knives, why on earth wouldn't I do a review of, of the fine detail cutters? Now, I know what you're thinking. It's Games Workshop, it's made in China. They're 20 pounds. Yes, of course, you can get a pair of clippers from Amazon right now for 10 pounds, which are spring loaded. I actually have a pair and they're not too bad at all. I just prefer these. Are they worth double the price though? Well, for a £10 pair of clippers, I use mine for all my resin kits and if they break, they break. It's a tenner, not, not too bad. These though, if these break, I get really, really annoyed. I don't use these for resin at all. I mainly use them for the plastic and even then it's only the plastic miniatures. I don't even use them for the scenery. One of the reasons is because the spring mechanism is hidden. You can't really fix it. There's no screw, you can't take it out and repair it. Once that spring in there goes, they are dead in the water. Therefore, I don't like to run the risk. I've had a pair break on me before and they were replaced. So let's unbox this and have a review. It says this is not a toy, may pinch skin, it says 14 plus, manufactured in China and distributed by Games Workshop. It's not a huge deal if it's made in China. I'm betting the device you're watching this video on is made in China. Uh, certainly the device recording this uh, review is made in China. But it can give you an insight into quality control and uh, the profit margin that Games Workshop uh, are making. So the box is quite nice, quite fancy, uh, follows the Citadel theme. Uh, there is a foam pad here that keeps it secure. It is, there we go. Okay, so spring loaded, nice tight spring this one, I have to say. Oh, that is, that is, that's nice and tight. I need to break this one in. So first impressions, very decent with the spring action. The clippers meet up, they are level. Um, but like I say, you know, just be wary with this uh, mechanism inside there. I wouldn't overextend it that way. And likewise, I wouldn't put them under too much pressure in terms of the resin. They, are they heavy? Not really, I mean, they're skeletonized, <laughs> skeletonized uh, handles. Uh, they don't have any rubber texture, but um, you know, they are, even though they're metallic, they are a bit non-slip. They just feel really, really good in the hands. Um, you know what I'm talking about. So that is the, the clippers. I haven't got any other clippers uh, with me to, to show you. I'm not even gonna do any size comparisons, but uh, I thought I'd just unbox them and uh, give you a look at what you can expect uh, for your money if you're on the fence about get getting them. I've used these clippers uh, for many, many years and uh, they do last a long time and I use the clippers every day, pretty much. And uh, if you're a regular to the channel, you will have witnessed the number of miniatures that I get through. Um, and all of those miniatures are not made. I make them and you know have clipped them off the sprue and everything like that. So. Uh, these clippers are a real workhorse. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Citadel clippers? Please put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.